Hi, it's Nadine from Barometer Chocolate, and I would like to share with you how I mindfully enjoy and savor my chocolate through my senses. The first thing that I do is make sure that I have a beautiful setup. So I get myself a lovely glass of room temperature water. So you don't want cold water that will numb the palate. Just nice room temperature water. I also have a beautiful plate that I've selected. And then I choose the chocolate that suits my mood for the moment. So this one happens to be a beautiful bar from a maker in Florida called Castronovo. Uh, the bar is from the Dominican Republic. That's where the beans hail from. And um, it's a bird sanctuary and a cacao plantation where the beans are grown. So you get to see these beautiful birds. The next thing that I do is I open the wrapper after I admire it, of course. I listen to the sounds of the crinkling of the foil. This is part of the sensory experience. And I break off some chocolate. So here is a beautiful piece of chocolate. It has a very simple imprint, but I always admire the imprint the color of the chocolate. And I take a moment to reflect on where the chocolate came from. So this, like I said, is from the Dominican Republic. I think about the terroir, I think about the earth, the, the soil, the climate, the elevation, um, the wind, the rain, the sun, everything that went into making this beautiful little square of chocolate, including the bugs that have to pollinate the cacao flowers and the farmers that harvest the cacao, as well as the makers who've put so much intention into the bar. That's a lot to think about before you've even started to taste it, but this is part of the savoring experience. The next thing that I do is I break it by my ear and I listen for a beautiful snap. So here it is. I hope you heard the snap. The snap of a well-tempered chocolate sounds like the solid reassuring thud of a luxury car door closing. So that's how you know the chocolate has been properly tempered. Listen for the snap. The next thing you do once you've broken the chocolate and released those beautiful volatile aromatic compounds is you smell the chocolate. So bring it close to your nose, just as if you're going to tell it your deepest, darkest secret, like I cup it very close to really get those beautiful notes. And you might notice a perfume like earth or spice, fruit or nuts, or just very chocolatey. There are so many potential um, aroma notes in chocolate. Now I'm ready to taste the chocolate. So I'm gonna take a bite or two and then just allow the chocolate to melt in my mouth and allow that flavor journey to unfold. I usually like to just close my eyes and be really present for the experience make sure nobody is going to disturb me. But definitely allow seven to 10 seconds and see what flavors unfold. Again, just like with the aroma, you might get um, notes of dairy, chocolate, nuts, flowers, um, spices, red fruits. There's so many different possibilities, dark fruits, dark sugars. So just think about if you're having a fine chocolate, what flavor experience you're having, what notes potentially you can pick out. And then just sit with it and enjoy what you've just tasted. Really, really allow that taste to just uh, settle in your mouth. And you can repeat one more time, maybe with a different chocolate. And I promise you, after a square or two, you will feel so satisfied. Make it a ritual. Everything with ritual tastes better. I hope you enjoyed.